Got some mail call, y'all. So, I have some, uh, some stuffs to open here. Start with the big box. Most of it's going to be um, original Odyssey stuff. And um, I already have the complete 40, almost 50 games of the U.S. release games for the Odyssey 2. But um, from time to time, I still need a few upgrades on condition. Sometimes maybe just a manual condition or sometimes a unique game could come out of it. Um, a special, uh, special one. So here in this box, we have one of the better games for the Odyssey 2, which is Time Lord. The Attack of the Time Lord. That's one of the better games. Now these appear to be these appear to be all the Magnemite branded games. I mean I got these for a good price. So I jumped on them. I mean on some of them it'll just probably be like a manual upgrade. Or maybe some a cartridge upgrade. Um, then what I'll do is I'll bundle them up and sell them, resell them, whatever I don't need, or whatever's not really an upgrade. Got a random plastic bag in here. Nothing in there. Get billiards. And here's another of those challenging series games. UFO, one of the better games. It's one of the, one of the better games you can find. Casey Munchkin, I've talked about some of these games before. Another one of those challenge series. One of the better ones. Okay, so nothing special in this box, people. Nothing special at all. I knew what I was getting though. Basically what I'll do is maybe some of these might be a slight upgrade. Looks like a store sticker was removed here. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'll bundle them up. These three games in particular are pretty good. The Grays, those are the Challenge series. All oh, these uh, beige or golden ones here. These are just the regular game so like I said nothing special here but I will show you the difference um, of, um, of the versions what do they call that uh, when there's a different version uh, I'll just tell you in a minute when I think of it so that was that so that was that Now, in this box, there's also it's also going to be Odyssey games, but these variants, that's what I was thinking of, these are going to be variants to these, and I'll, and I'll show you in what way, because Magnavox produced 
the Odyssey 2 in the U.S. And um, in Europe, Canada, and Brazil, South America, it was Philips, which Magnum, Mag, Mag, Magnavox and Philips are a joint company. So here we have, I'm going to give you a, sh a quick example right now on the variant difference. Um, okay, this, this game right here was the pack-in game. It was uh, three games on it. Speedway, Spin Out, and Chronologic, which used the keyboard on the, uh, on the Odyssey 2. So, this was the pack-in game. Nothing special, just had three, three basic games. But here's the one that came in the other box. So, I'll put these both up for you. And you tell me if you notice any difference when I do that and when I do that. The difference you'll notice is see on here it says Magnavox. On this one it doesn't. Also, on the front up here, no Magnavox. Over here, Magnavox. So, so that's different, right? Another difference is the manuals. Now, on the one that says Magnavox there, the back of the manual has that logo like my shirt. You see that? And it says Magnavox on the back of the manual. Where on this one, the one without the Magnavox, the back of the manual doesn't have that. As you can see the difference. Okay? Now, what makes it a variant, the reason why it's a variant, is because Magnavox started production in the U.S. and eventually... Um, Eventually, copyright got sold. Not really sold, but like I said, it, uh, Phillips kind of... Uh, so what it says here, now what's going to be different about the cartridges is this one, was, this one was taped, so ignore that. But what you'll notice is right here, you won't be probably able to see it in the camera, but right there, these are known as the neck. And what that means is it's um, the North America Phillips, okay, branded, North American Phillips, which is NAP, N-A-P, where on this one, it was when it was still under the Magnavox name, so this one says Magnavox on the copyright, and this one says NAP map, but everything else is the same. Okay? And both games play the same and they're exactly the same. So, so this is the NAP version, which is the North American Phillips. And as you can see up here, it doesn't say Magnavox at the end. It's not branded Magnavox anywhere on the box. Nowhere on the box does it say Magnavox. Even on the back here it says North American Phillips. Where in the earlier versions, they were branded by Magnavox. And even here it says Magnavox, 19, I mean 1978 Magnavox. So, and also the Magnavox is branded here and on the back of the manual. So, what is the difference? The difference is, the only other difference I can tell you is this one has more of a glossy 
finish. You can see that. You see the reflection, how it's glossy. Where the North American Phillips, you could still see gloss, but it has more of a, more of a rougher texture. Not as not as shiny as this one. So that's the only other difference was the box itself. The quality of the box itself. And um, and the um, the NAPs, the North American Phillips are rarer. Um, they are more harder to come by. Not in this game in particular, because this one was a packing game. So this one you can find about the same, but uh, the NAP will always be a limit, a little more rarer. But other games like these, like your general games. These all say mag. These are all Magnavox. Magnavox. So those are harder to come by. The rest of the. So like my whole co personal collection, my complete personal collection, is all Magnavox. Um, like that with the Magnavox on it. Um, and the manuals are all Magnavox. Um. But I do have um, a little collection of the NAPs, which are, like I said, are rarer. Here's one of them here. Now this is Cosmic Conflict. This is a decent game. It's got a price sticker on there. From a store called Forest City. We didn't have any of those near here in my area. But the store's, the store's uh, Forest City, 1995 price tag. So 20 bucks for this game back in the day. Um, the game is from 19, it's dated 1978. And again, like I said, this is not Magnavox branded. This is an NAP. So like I said, a lot rarer to find. And here's like a Space Invaders clone. Um, Alien Invaders Plus. This one has a store a store sticker on it, but you can make out 1995, and it doesn't seem to be the same store as this. But I can't make out the store. But 1995 was the price. So again, twenty dollars. And again, doesn't have the Magnavox brand on it. So this is another NAP, and. A lot of times these games came with this little catalog and a uh, little catalog came with a lot of a lot of these will come with these little catalogs it was different ones that show like all the games in it like any other catalog would um, the ones coming out soon and so there's the catalog Sometimes they're missing in the in the in the games. Then there's always this. Um, a lot of the times these Magnavox boxes will be taped on all four corners to hold them together. Um, um, they're more collectible if they don't have the tape. They all have the tape here because that's how they were. That's how you found them brand new in the stores. Little piece of Scotch tape. That's that's what they used to. They were, they were never shrink-wrapped when you found them in the store. And then uh, what people would do, like my personal collection, the, my full Magnavox collection, I taped all the corners. Because some were already, see how that one has the tape on the corners? So it keeps them together better. So here I've got a little four-game lock. Of the nap games and here you see what I was saying this one's got a, a catalog in it but it's a different one a little different it has a different picture on front maybe it's more updated would it like they added a few more games to it because this one says over 40 games now if you can see that up there it says over 40 games 
So, like I said, these NAP ones, these NAP, are rarer, much rarer. Except for that first one, is not as rare. But the uh, the packing game, I mean. But these are all much much rarer to find than the than the Magnavox branded ones. So this one looks like the sticker came off there, price sticker. Uh, so there you have that. So there's a there's an example of what I'm talking about with the uh, variant. Okay. Price that dude is not in here, so it must have came off at some point. Uh, then, in these other boxes, now this right here is a very special item. I have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in my personal collection for the Odyssey. And, and this thing in particular, I never got my hands on I've seen them listed before and I didn't pull the trigger or couldn't afford it maybe at the time or the price was too high but I found it finally for a decent price and I had the funds so I pulled the trigger and this is a hand uh, this is like if you needed an extra controller if like yours broke and you needed an extra one they were hardwired on some of the systems so that's the controller replacement if you needed a new one because yours busted the stick broke or the button broke and you needed to replace it you'd have to open up the uh, Odyssey 2 and then plug it in and um, reclose it but the but the fun thing about the box I mean about this is the box itself doesn't have the instructions in there okay but it does say hand Odyssey 2 hand control hardwire they also had a um, a non hardwire because the system came in two different ways and this happens to be a replacement one for the one that you need to open up and replace. But this is basically just the box with the controller inside, the replacement controller. But what I'm saying is I basically bought it for the box. I didn't need the I didn't need a controller because I have many of them. You know, from broken systems and from extra systems, but I made this purchase for the box. This is a very, you know, very rare to find this box. It's not a common thing you're going to see every day. Is the, is the box itself. So, basically this purchase was for the box. It has a little wear right there on that side. Bottom seems okay. Top seems okay. But, um, I mean, a little, little damage there, but not bad. I mean, it is what it is. This is like... You know, 40 years old. And this, by the way, is dated 1982. And again, this does not have the Magnavox name on it. The Magnavox brand is nowhere to be found on this box. It is an... Uh, if you can see that, it says NAP North American North America Phillips is the brand that took over for Magnavox but they were all one company anyway I don't know for some reason why the Magnavox name came off of this but uh, again that's not Magnavox branded so that's cool thought I'd show you guys that for a box so this is uh, so this is the very first one in my personal collection of this box, and then 
This is the most special thing of all. This, you're definitely not going to find every day. This, you will not find every day. As a matter of fact, you won't even find this in your lifetime. This is a very, very, very rare piece that I'm glad that I'm going to be adding to my collection. Now, I want to tell you, it might not be in the greatest condition. This was a mail away. You could not buy this in stores. This was something you'd have to order out of the Odyssey Adventure magazine through mail away through a magazine. So I've only seen one of these ever since I've been searching online for Magnavox Odyssey items. It's the only one of its kind that I'll be adding to my collection. I don't have any others like this, but it is. And it's a size medium. Now, I, of course, am a double X these days. So I obviously don't plan to wear this. I wouldn't anyway, because it's a collector's piece. But um, I'm going to probably, you know, put this on a hanger and hang it in my game room with my Odyssey collection. But I will show it to you. It's going to be very special. That's why I don't want to do it right away. But, but it is size medium. Now, why is that significant? Because this shirt is from 1982. And in 1982, I would have worn a medium. <laughs> so back when I was playing the Odyssey 2 as a child, this shirt would have fit me back then because that's what I wore back then, a medium. So we're gonna show you the front of it here. And this is one of the games. The name of the, ironically though, the name of the game, the Odyssey 2 had two, three boxed games. They were like special edition games. They didn't come in boxes like this, smaller boxes. I'll show it in another video, but they came in big oversized boxes. They flipped open and there was map inside. There was, um, play pieces, and they were almost like board games, but they did come with the cartridge that you put in your Odyssey 2, and that's when the keyboard, they had a keyboard overlay where you could, um, it was almost like a Dungeon and Dragons type game. Now, the front of this shirt says Dragon Slayer, as you can read there. This is like a light beige blue. And you can see it's old, um, but I'm so glad that somebody preserved this because this is very rare. So it says Dragon Slayer, but that's not the name of the game. The name of the game is on the back. I will be turning it over to show the back. But there it's got, a, it's got some tearing right here. Um, the stitching is thankfully all there. The, the stitching on the seams seems good. As you can see, there's wear on the seams. But I mean, it's together. It's got like a tear right there, you can see in the front. I'm not gonna wash this or nothing, it looks clean enough. It's got some stains here and there. I mean, nothing real bad. There's some fading, I can see there's fading. But, I mean, there's some stainage right here. But it's uh, beautiful. The armpits are not torn. So the only tear I see is that right there by the belly button. But beautiful. This is probably one of my best pieces in my collection now. Okay, and now I'll show the back, which will show the actual name of the game. And that would be the quest for the rings. As you can see there, the quest for the rings. And it's Odyssey 2. And um, 
like I said, this was uh, only available through like uh, mail order. It's a size medium. It's in nice condition for its age. It's authentic. It's from 1982. And this, I can't wait to put this in my collection on a hanger. It's a beauty. This is a beautiful. It's probably one of my best pieces. If not my best piece now in my collection for the Odyssey 2. Unbelievable. I'm so happy to have this.